Today we're going to be looking at keeping the screen on on your Android device. So real quick, uh, one of the times I do what I'm about to show you is with SCRCPY. Uh, it should be in your repositories uh, for your Linux distribution, at least it's in the Debian repositories. I'll go ahead and run that. And the only thing you need to do on your phone, you know, is hook up USB and make sure that ADB is enabled. And it will push over uh, some program and then start up and now I can interact with my device right here on my computer. I can record it and I can type things, copy and paste. And that's great, except for if I'm doing that, but I'm not interacting with the phone, I'm just viewing it. After a while, the screen will time out and it will turn off. And then I've got to reach over, press the power button, unlock it, all that stuff. Uh, so how can we keep our screen from falling asleep? You can go into the settings on the device uh, and change the time of uh, the sleep timeout. Uh, you can also set it to always have the screen on when it's hooked to USB, which I believe you can turn on in settings, but if you're already ADB'd in, so let me go ahead and ADB shell here, I can run this command and it's SVC power stay on USB. And that will set the device to always stay on while it's hooked to USB. Now, you can also turn it off with the same command, but instead of saying USB, you just set it to false. So SVC power stay on false, and that will disable what we just enabled. Now I don't use that because I don't necessarily want the screen on all the time. Every time I plug it into USB, I go to night at uh, go to bed at night, I plug it in. I don't want the screen to turn on and stay on. So how can I get it to stay on while I'm using uh, the screen sharing here uh, without doing that? Well, I'm going to show you something a little hacky. If we do while true. Let's shrink this down uh, so you can view it better. Anyway, I'll make it bigger again. We'll just go through it. So while true, so we're doing a while loop, do this. And again, this is in the ADB shell. So on the device, input key vent mouse, and then we're going to say sleep and we're going to sleep for five seconds done. What this does is it basically is telling the, the phone to well, see, the screen just went off. Let me turn it back on. That's the issue that I'm trying to avoid right there. I'll run this. And what it's doing is it's, it's doing this loop where basically it's it's moving the mouse or pressing the mouse. It's doing a mouse event so it thinks that you're touching the screen. And it does that every five seconds or wherever we set the loop for. Uh, it's kind of a hacky way to do it. But when I'm doing the screen recordings or doing something where I'm interacting on my phone here, I might be in this and then I might go over to a, uh, a shell on my computer. And after a while that times out, well, this will keep that screen on. And then when I'm done, I can just exit out of the shell. I can control C and exit out. And now the screen will go back to sleep when I want. So you can do how you want, uh, but that's what I would do. Do, uh, because I don't want it to always be on every time I plug it into USB. But again, if I ADB shell, and there'll be links to all these notes in the description of this video, I can run this and it will now basically like wiggle the mouse like you would on your computer every five seconds to prevent sleep mode from happening. So uh, if you have another way of doing this, let me know below. Uh, but those are the two main ways I know of doing it. And again, uh, it seems a little hacky anytime you have to do a send key event, but uh, it works and I thought I'd share. Thanks for watching, and as always, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.